What's going on, guys? So we're a month into New World, and I wanted to give my review of the game uh, as of one month in. I think it's kind of important to make these videos as the game progresses because your week one review isn't really indicative of where the game is right now. Uh, but first good sign is that I'm still playing the game. We're a month in. I've played it quite a bit, and I'm still playing the game. And most of you guys are probably still playing the game, even though uh, your confidence is probably being tested right now in particular, especially if you've been max level for a bit. So uh, I do think it's important to say that despite the massive amounts of issues with the game at the moment, we're all, for the most part, still playing it. And uh, I think even if you're very unhappy with the, where, where the game is currently, it's hard to say you didn't get your $40 worth. Genuinely. Like, for 40 bucks, like, Come on, it's pretty good. Um, but dude, all right. <laughs> there are some massive problems with this game. And I'm just going to go out and say it, that I think New World may be the buggiest MMO I have ever played in terms of the bugs being detrimental to my personal gameplay experience. So I'm going to rattle off all the MMOs I've played. Uh, so New World, World of Warcraft, Wildstar, Swotor, Guild Wars 2, Crowfall, RuneScape. Now, out of all of those games, ironically, Crowfall may be one of the least buggy ones. Uh, now, obviously, that game has problems right now, but in terms of bugs that have ne negatively affected me, Crowfall is probably pretty low on that list. Um, New World is probably the top. As, as crazy as that sounds, considering it's a modern MMO release, New World has had a ton of bugs that have negatively affected me uh, outrageously. Uh, people like to say that Wildstar had a lot of bugs. I didn't feel that at all. There were bugs, but I could play around them. Um, I didn't have any showstoppers or anything that like really, really crazily negatively affected my experience. It was always like, ah, you know, that's a little unpolished, but it's workable. In New World, all right, let's rattle them off in New World. My entire character broke for like two days. I just couldn't play the game because I'd log in, run around for two minutes, get disconnected, get rolled back to where I was, and apparently there was gold duping that happened with that. Apparently, I don't know. Uh, but I basically couldn't play the game for two days um, when the server transfers happened, so that was fun. Just couldn't play at all. Entirely. So, then, <laughs> I get to where my character, I can play my character. Cool! Working on those 580 weapon quests. Uh, Alright, cool, gonna get my sword. Alright, let's go kill Malevolence, and it's bugged. Boss doesn't spawn, complete showstopper, cannot get the sword. No problem! Let's get the mace. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, that's also bugged. Oh, sick. Can't do that either because the boss keeps resetting. Um, just, yeah. So, my first two weapons I wanted to get, couldn't get those. Did the whole the whole chain all the way up to the very end. Couldn't do the last part. That's cool. Um, then, uh, hatchets just started fucking three-shotting people. Like, what? All right, so we're, uh, the hatches are three-shotting people because the damage bonus doesn't ever stop stacking. <sighs> that sucks. All right, uh, well, it turns out resilience on the gear is bugged to where it's, instead of being, like, 30% critical damage reduction, it's just 30% damage reduction. So now everybody that knows about this, that has access to that gear, is just taking 30% less damage from all sources. PvE, PvP, whatever. It's fucking insane. That, now, that's obviously throwing off the meta, but uh, class balance is not exactly great either right now. Or I shouldn't say class balance, weapon balance. The Great Axe and the Life Staff are egregious right now. I would put Ice Gauntlet up there, but <laughs> the Ice Gauntlet is bugging out now. And half the shit isn't even hitting. So, uh, I, I guess it, it, it falls down the tier list. Uh, Fire Staff, I would put lower. But if you know about the Fire Staff exploit, where you can fucking machine gun fireballs out of your Life Staff fast as fuck... Um, then that's all of a sudden an S tier weapon, if you know about the exploit. So, you got great axes now that have the home. Why, why do they home? Like, the, the, it's like fucking Sonic Dash Attack with the great axe. Every time you swing, it's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. No other weapon does this. 
and you run fast as fuck, by the way, also bugged, you can just run around 30% faster all the time. I don't know, you just can. I, I have a list of, of the bugs right now, and I'm coming up with new ones on the fly as I'm thinking. I didn't even have that the Great Axe Speed written down on this list, but it just, just popped it up in my head. So, uh, Outpost Rush, got to play that for the first time today. Uh, played that, and people are now escaping out of the Outpost Rush gates before the game even starts. Cap and shit, before it even starts. Uh... What else, man? Uh, the life staff is crazy. Uh, now, I, I can kind of forgive them for the life staff being overpowered because it's the only healing weapon in the game, and it's like he, uh, balancing healing versus damage. That That is kind of hard, so I'll give them a pass on this one a little bit, but, dude, healers are crazy good in PvP. Even in PvE, you, if you have a good healer or if you have multiple people using the life staff, you can really cheese a lot of the mechanics in the game like if you just run like two healers it's like all of a sudden you can just cheat and do shit that like you shouldn't be able to do because i've tanked stuff with a life staff and like had like three or four life staff people in my group before and this shit was not designed for that kind of healing to be put out so uh what else we got uh we got uh, immunity full-blown immunity people just not taking damage at all because it's it's all client based. Now this is something I talked about before the game even came out. As soon as I saw that I could shoot an arrow through a skeleton through the legs of a skeleton, I was like, this is all in the client. There's the you just there's no way that's being validated on the server in real time to know that I shot the arrow through the legs of a skeleton while it's running mid stride. Like it's impossible. Um, so yeah, the game trusts the client a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So you've got all kinds of craziness going on with, like, people hacking the speed of their great axe to swing fast as fuck. Um, people just being full-blown immune. Then you've got the weird trade bugs where people are, like, duping stuff, allegedly, from what I've seen. I, I, it's hard to know how real some of this is and how much it is just people trolling and trying to get a rise out of people because that's also a thing. Um, dude, like, I, I can just keep rattling off the bugs, but... The problem is that this is a this is a very PvP oriented game with wars and territory control, and it's hard to give a shit about that stuff when you know it's gonna be cheesy. When you know that if you don't have the resilient gear on, you're fucked. Like if you're not if you're not wearing the gear that makes you take like 35% less damage and putting on the gems that make you take like another like 10% less damage because they're just bugged, like they're just doing shit they're not supposed to be doing. If you don't have that you shouldn't even bother playing. And it's like, well, fuck, you know, maybe uh, and you're in this weird like limbo where it's like, do I get it? And then they fix it tomorrow. And then I just wasted my time and money getting that stuff. Or do I play legit and just get shit on? It, like, what do you do? Right. It's, it, it's, I, that's the, personally the spot I'm in. Right. I, I bought some of the gear that didn't have the resilient perk on it. Um, because I just didn't know that it worked for all damage types. It's who'd have thought. Right. Um, so I, I, do I get the bugged gear and then it gets fixed tomorrow or time? It's, it's really stupid. Then, uh, on, a, on the lighter end, we had the chat being bugged. People are spamming giant sausages in the chat. Uh, now, now for you guys that don't know, don't, don't know about this. You, some of you may be listening to this video. Yes, they are spamming JPEG sausages in the chat. Apples, nuts, like just massive images in the chat um so i mean it, that's almost funny but then you see like 85 fucking gold spammers spamming behind it uh the bots i, I personally on pyralis have not seen many bots so i don't know if that's just like a thing on like olympus and some of these bigger servers where there's more of a market for gold but the gold spam uh has become outrageous um I, I can't escape it. Personally, I cannot escape the gold spam. I get it in game. I get it. I get it whispered. In, I get it whispered to me personally. I get it in global chat. Now they've started emailing my YouTube business account, offering me money to promote this shit. This dude, this gold selling in this game must be ridiculously lucrative because uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I've seen, and I've seen other YouTubers, crazily enough, actually doing this shit. Like, wow, that not a good move, dude. Like, think about it for a second. Think about what you're doing for a second. Is the money worth it? Think about who owns what. 
and what you're doing on the, on YouTube, Twitch, and who owns what. Is it really a good idea to be doing this for, you know, a few hundred, few thousand bucks? Eh, I just think about it. So, uh, Jesus Christ. So anyway, New World of Month End, dude. It, it, the buggiest fucking MMO I've ever played. Hands down. This, this is the... In terms of the bugs, like, seriously um, trivializing the game and, and and putting you in a weird situation where it's like, I either exploit or just don't play, or just don't, like, have fun, especially from a PvP perspective. Like, if you're just not... If you, if you aren't using the bugged gear, you're putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. Um, so, I don't know, dude. The, the, this, <laughs> again... I've played World of Warcraft at launch, Wildstar, Swotor, Guild Wars 2, RuneScape, Crowfall. The only one that I would say is maybe on par or worse is World of Warcraft at launch. And that wasn't even really bugs. That was just like server stability. If you played on Illidan or some of these other servers that were really bad back then. Um, but even then, like it wasn't like so much that was... There were definitely bugs, but so much of that game was like leveling up for the first few months that, again, it didn't negatively... Uh, impact me as much as the new world bugs the new world bugs have just been brutal in terms of just like really shitting on people's experience so anyway the game is buggy but is the game fun still i think so um personally i'm just not taking it too seriously right now and i, I really don't think that you should uh it's a little awkward right now for the people that run companies and are worried about territory and stuff because it's Quite frankly, just cheesy AOE lag ball exploits, uh, hatchets, three shotting people. Like, what do you even do in a war right now? Like, what is the war meta? Everybody runs fucking hatchets and life staffs and and, and tries to get the exploit rolling before the war starts. Like, uh, what do you what do you even do? It's I don't know. I'm glad I'm not taking it seriously. I'm glad I don't really have to. But uh, they definitely need to hurry the fuck up. Like for real like i hope this video comes out and it's like irrelevant because they fixed all this shit because this is where they're gonna start losing people because a lot of people are starting to hit 60 and when they go and play outpost rush and they get three shot by a hatchet exploiter um by the way the hatchet exploit um you can kind of unknowingly do it now the people that are running around three shotting people consistently and have all and just continually three shot people over and over and over again like those people are definitely exploiting but I remember I used the hatchet when I tank and I'm like, damn, this thing hits real hard. Like what is going on here? Why is this like, why is this hatchet hit so hard compared to my other stuff? And it's really fast. It just makes no sense. And now I'm starting to see like, Oh, that didn't reset. Now I understand why it was hitting so hard. So there are people that are unintentionally exploiting too. Like there's probably a ton of people using the faction PVP gear. That's giving them 30% damage reduction that have no idea because why would they, they're just using the gear. Um, so I don't know, dude. Let me know what you guys think of, uh, New World. Are you playing it? Are you still having fun despite all the bugs? I think that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm definitely having less fun than I could be having, but I'm still having fun. I'm still working on my trade skills and doing some of the non-bugged 580 quests, messing around with some different builds, weapon combos. Uh, but it, that's going to be short-lived, dude. Like, there's only so much of that I can do before it's like, all right, guys, like, let's... Like, I'm going to start caring about the war soon. Like, you better get this shit figured the fuck out before uh, <laughs> I really want to start caring about wars and, like, outpost rush and stuff. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>